If two carriers for a recessive Mendelian trait have children, then on average three quarters of their children will possess the dominant phenotype and one quarter will have the recessive phenotype. If one were to ask what were the odds that the first child would possess the dominant phenotype and the second child would possess the dominant phenotype, one would use the law of the product and multiply the odds that the first one possesses a dominant phenotype of three quarters and the odds that the second possesses the dominant phenotype, which is also three quarters, to come up with the probability that both children possess this dominant trait, which is nine sixteenths. If one asks what are the odds that both children possess the recessive phenotype, one would also use the law of the product. These are independent events and multiply the probability that the first child has the recessive trait, which is one in four, times the probability that the second child has the recessive trait, which is one in four, and thus there is a one sixteenth chance that these parents will have two children which both possess the recessive trait. The probability that the first child will possess the dominant trait and the second child will possess the recessive trait can be obtained by multiplying the odds that the first child possess the dominant trait, which is three and four, times the odds that the second child possesses the recessive trait, which is one and four. So three fourths times one fourth is equal to three sixteenths. The odds that the first child will possess the recessive trait is one in four. The odds that the second child will possess the dominant trait is three in four. And if a family has two children, the odds of the combination where the first child possesses the recessive trait and the second child possesses the dominant trait is equal to one fourth times three fourths, which is three sixteenths.